Thank you so much for asking me to speak to this debate and I hope you've seen the strong commitment Greens have to ending violence against women and girls today. I've been a vocal supporter of groups working on the front line in support of women affected by violence and I've spoken up about the issue in the wake of the shocking murder of Sarah Everard and during debates and hustings so far in this campaign too. In my work on the London Assembly I've been particularly concerned about cuts cuts to lots of services, but also to specialist groups who support women from different minority, religious or cultural groups, and about how the hostile environment policies of the government can put women in danger if they cannot rely on funded support to leave a dangerous situation. Our manifesto has policies in all areas that deal with the reality of violence in society and seek to build a truly healthy society where no one is unsafe, and where people have options when things go wrong, so that they know where to get help at a time that makes a difference. I hope you'll read all our policies to see this broad public health approach in action. And finally, we need justice where violence takes place. Misogyny must be recorded like any other hate crime, and we need more resources to solve cases and bring justice for survivors. It's awful to see that rates of detection and sanctions against perpetrators have fallen in recent years, and that is not good enough. On the London Assembly, I've seen with my own eyes the problems within police teams facing huge workloads and inadequate resources, the lack of contact time with independent sexual violence advocates, and massive challenges due to the volume and intrusiveness of digital evidence required from victims. Fixing all this, it's a question of priority, and as Green Mayor, I hope you'll see that I will give the right priority to this problem that should be in the past. Thank you.